Ashe Boru, Ashe Boya Shoshishe, Obeato Boru Mufum. This is Aworo Mila Fungando Ifama, Shangoro Pagayu, Adeina. And simply, uh, my wishes is to do a video series in regards to the advice of the year of 2020. One thing to keep in mind, this is for people involved in the Oshai fire tradition, those outside of our tradition, to keep in mind that the planet itself is an energy, has several energy grids, right? And in that same regard, uh, we have an Odu for Puerto Rico, we have an Odu for Mexico, we have an Odu for Miami, we have an Odu for Europe, we have an Odu for Japan. I mean, in a global scale, we have different Odus. Now, I'm going to simply focus on the advice that Ifa has given to Cuba and how it has been given to the rest of the world. So simply, it's the advice of the old of Ifa from Cuba and for the rest of the world. This has been uh, practiced for the past 100 years, uh, primarily originally by Nyohenreo Baramea de Sinha and Tata Gaitano Gunafun. This is Baba Laos from our lineage. That being said, I'm going to begin by uh, explaining that the Odu of the year of 2020 uh, is emphasizing a familiarity and understanding of the different herbal remedies we utilize uh, for different things. For example, uh, the different herbs, knowing the properties it, con it consists of, knowing uh, the orisha that it represents, what, what orisha represents the herb. You know, understanding that because even in, in modern day times, there's been studies in Harvard, you know, even Harvard University where uh, a lot of uh, people have invested a lot of money in funding going to indigenous societies and countries where the indigenous people work with their herbal remedies and plants. And with that knowledge and that investigation, they have uh, utilized the same herbs but in, in the prescription pills. Right. So pharmaceutical companies is a multi-million dollar industry. Right based off the knowledge of the indigenous people in their herbs. Now, uh, so it's emphasizing that, and in a global scale, even in a global scale, it's emphasizing the awareness of the adverse effects of deforestation and the fact that a lot of our herbs are being destroyed, you know, uh, so we have to be, keep that in mind. And when I say our, ours, I'm not talking about just Cuba itself, I'm talking about every single indigenous uh, traditions throughout the world. Um, to be aware of that, because if I speaking for the world. Now, secondly, uh, it, it, it speaks of the uh, adverse effects of eating pig, a contaminated pig, on the internal organs and the blood, and the bacteria that it could cause. There's a particular story in this Odu, we call it Pataki, but a particular oral traditional story, Word for word, it, it states where there was an Ifa priest whose job was to maintain and preserve a religious relic inherited from his own father before his father passed away. So his father had a religious relic that he took care of, and before his father passed away, he gave it to his son. And fortunately, his son, after his father's passing, was very disciplined. You know, So as he catered to this religious relic, his own community was prosperous, right? So it was a ripple effect. It was a lot of prosperity. And then, um, so when that took place, uh, the members of the community, uh, their job was to raise different types of animals. Uh, horses, sheep, goats, hens, you name it, roosters. That was their job, you know? And the society was very prosperous. However, at one point in time, a new member of the community introduced themselves to them, and he had pigs. The, the community people were shocked because they'd never seen a pig before. But they did not complain. You know, they just accepted him. And he decided to, uh, to live amongst them and raise his pigs. But something interesting happened, or something unfortunate happened. Um, as the pigs began to reproduce the animals of the other members of the community began to die off. This immediately was uh, told to the Ifar priest who was in charge of that community. And the Ifar priest consulted uh, his ancestor, his father. 
in this tradition to, through a mystical experience, right? There was a dialogue between his father and son. It's similar to, um, I beg to differ, the Black Panther movie, right? That scene where his son speaks with his father or something like that, to that, to that same extreme. Uh, so his father told him, the cause of the deaths of the different animals in your community is due to the fact that the pigs who, who, who you know, uh, have contaminated the environment because the excrements that they released infected the different foods that you give the animals. So when they eat that food, they begin to pass away. Now, coincidentally, the priest immediately uh, informs the community what, what, the, what was the cause of this problem. Now, this is something to keep in mind. The Babalao or religious leader has to be very careful what they say to someone because they might not be emotionally ready for it because this is what happened. As soon as the Ifar priest told them, the Ifar priest left and something crazy happened. The community people immediately went to the house of the new member and destroyed him, literally destroyed him. They were pissed off that their animals were dying. They destroyed the pigs. They were just pissed off. Elegua being a witness of this, because Elegua sees all things, at least in our tradition, immediately told the Babalao, hey, uh, your community has are, have gone mad. They've done this. And also they're eating the pig that they, they killed. And the priest, alerted by that, immediately consoles Ifa. Ifa reveals to him that let your community people know that the pig was not properly cleansed. It was a lot of bacteria there, instruments. So it's affecting their health where they could potentially pass away. So he immediately went to uh, the community, let them know. And he immediately went to his father's altar to ask for more advice. The shrine. And the father said, make sure you let the community people know uh, to not eat pig meat. Because it has a lot, of, you know, in this story, at least in this context, that it was not clean, you see. The moral of the story is as follows. Um, our intake of food, make sure it's properly, you know, clean and, and sanitized. Even with pigs, you know, we, you know, a lot of, you know, we have to be careful with pig meat, make sure it's, you know, clean. I'm not, I'm, you know. And also, uh, secondly, uh Keep in mind that a heritage or ancestral tradition that has been in, given to you to preserve it and keep it and love it. Do not destroy it. Do not just forget about it. Because you notice that this son, this Ifar priest, was given a religious relic from his own father. And this religious relic helped him save his community. Because it takes one generation to, lose, to forget everything. One generation that does not remember their past or tradition, it automatically destroys that. So it's a shame. So this is, I'm speaking for all the initiates of our culture, the old Shafar tradition. Please, um, if your faith is down, you doubt the tradition, whatever the case may be, study up on it, read about it, um, speak to your elders, you know, uh, learn more, you know. Uh, this rep talks about even our, our faith might be tested. And at least in this story, it's a positive because this person actually was faithful in despite in respect of the fact that his community was going in disarray, right? And as he as he actually helped his ancestors in a religious relic, his community began to prosper again. You see. Uh third, um, well, yeah, second or third. Uh keep in mind also. Be wary who you let inside your community because it can be parasitical instead of become a um, semiotic relationship. Because you notice the, the person turned everything into disarray. So uh, keep in mind. Also, it not only speaks of two separate people, it can even be ourselves. We can be semiotic to our community. Right, we work on ourselves, work on our spirituality. You know, it's the priest was working on himself and his ancestral altar, and then he was able to help his community. Otherwise, if he did the opposite, he would the community would have been destroyed. You see what I'm saying? So we can only give what we have. An empty vessel cannot feed or quench the thirst of somebody. You know, so we got to work on ourselves as elders, as priests, and other initiates, whatever level we're in. 
work on ourselves, meditation, yoga, whatever you guys do in your in different religions, because uh, this is not exclusively only for our religion. This is a, a global advice, uh, a tradition or heritage that your parents have left you, your great grandparents. If you lost it, research it, investigate it. You know, that's what is 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 emphasizing here. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, so I want to make this uh, a several series video. So I share Buru share with share, so they must follow Balifa, and also I'm gonna have a link uh, where you could, if a person wants a divination reading done, I will provide a link for my Facebook channel, which is Luis Miguel Oluo y Fauma, and then we can schedule a reading there. But I'm gonna. Um, share more videos, the video series, because it's very lengthy. So I share and bless. And I hope this information served you well and, 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 and taught you more about our culture and our traditions and your traditions and your culture for the initiates. I share and blessings.